here we go. And <laughs> That is not me. <laughs> oh, <that's wrong. laughs> so, welcome to the Great Northern Sex Cast. I'm Kelly Guest. We've got Colleen Bertino, Michael Radke, and special in studio guest today, Ross Swayback. Yay, <laughs> Ross! Hooray! It's me. Yeah, we are so glad to have you now. Um, I'm but... so excited. You have no idea how excited I am to be in this <laughs> oh, podcast, seriously. We brought you a box of goodies for your. Oh my God, to, to, to I'm show so excited you. Well, I, I to see this stuff. Yeah, I was panicked because I'm looking at your website and it's really classy. It's sort of tasteful. And I'm like, well, which direction do I go here? Because I can go classy and tasteful or I cannot. And I it's, it, uh, we can start out classy. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then just rub a little lube on it, and then we'll, we'll go downtown. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Right. So Ross is going to, uh, we're going to talk to him about The Good Podcast, uh, his show, and all of that sort of thing. And uh, Ross, you're just going to be in the mix with us. Okay. That's fine. I have yeah. no problems being in the mix with anything. Okay, I love that. So um, let's start out, as we always do, and mm-hmm. just talk about what's going on at Fantasy Gifts quick. Well, we have about... Uh, Pallets and pallets and pallets of merchandise that's coming in. In fact, we priced more lube yesterday. It was Wicked Wednesday. Wicked <laughs> Monday. Wicked something. See, I don't even know what the hell day it is. <laughs> um, it's just, Tuesday, today. isn't it? Yeah. That's why I got fucked up. That's why I'm late. <laughs> I thought today was, was, well, I thought it was supposed to be yesterday anyways. Uh, it's just, yeah, so lube. Lube. It's just so, I mean, a pallet of lube. I mean, just, just lube. Like, a lot of lube. What is your favorite kind of lube to use? What? I... Actually, it's the silicone. Yeah, I would agree. It takes forever to wash off, but I hate to reapply. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. see, I, I, you have to weigh these two things. But if you, you know, but if you don't like spending that much time in the shower, but I happen to like the shower, so you know, it's no big deal. Do you have a favorite brand of silicone lube that you like, or is it all the same? It depends. I really like the Pure Land. Um, I haven't had a chance to use the Wicked. I know that ID had one that was really pleasant. Uh, which one? Oh, was that? Was that you no, know, they had a. Did I do the, the 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 hybrid? Yeah, no, I think that was. No, that was wet. wet. Yeah, so we're going through there. So I, there's a combination, but it has to, it has to be thick. Because I mean, you do not want this stuff running all over the place. I mean, I have nice sheets, and I don't feel like dealing with the lube stains. If you spray, I actually covered that on Fox, oh, okay. which I do that shit to <laughs> piss people off. Good for you. But I slide that in at the end, is what I always do, and I'm like, oh, and by the way, to get rid of lube stains. Mm-hmm. And um, because I want to make sure people are listening. But if you buy that orange cleaner, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like that takes labels off. Mm -hmm. That shit, you spray that on the stain and then let it sit. Like Goo Gone, but it's it's called an orange cleanser. Yeah. And it it is citrus. And you spray that on there and let it sit and then throw it in the wash. Loop stain's gone. Mm -hmm. No evidence of you. We've having any a, kind of sexuality. We've got a horny, helpful Heloise. Yeah. In the right. Studio. I'm exactly. so excited. Right. Yeah. Right. This is awesome. Okay, mm-hmm. who knew you were going to drop tips? <laughs> like exactly. That. I like that. Oh it's God. better than a deuce, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and Ross, just, I got to tell you, something that you must do now that you've become friends with the fantasy, you know, gifts team here and, and the great Northern sex cast, um, you have to make a stop someday at their warehouse and literally just go through and just walk through the walls of dildos and the whole thing. I've never, well, this is what's so interesting is I've never seen a dildo in person before. How is that I know. Possible? How is that possible? I'm amazed. And um, but I've I actually am out of lube. So the fact that you brought up lube reminded me that I need to get some lube. That's Excellent. Right. Well, we are... uh, I'm not wearing that thong. <laughs> no, no, it's not one... really your color. Oh, no. This one's for you, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, that? This is this is a. Um, I think I need to bring everybody into oh. the into the mix here. This is. Oh, that's um... very interesting. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, I, this isn't big enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, describe you... describe. Holy this crap! Is. There you go. There's a dildo. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. Ross Sorry, has just, a yeah. what would you call that? A cock costume in one hand and a dildo in the other. Now, just <laughs> right, a, right. It's just a Sunday morning. So with the right. costume, it's so it's like kind of like um, a metal thing that goes up the crack of your ass, and in the front where your dick would go, it's a Santa hat. So your right. dick goes in the Santa hat, and then this metal piece goes up the crack. Right. So and, I don't know how and, comfortable and, that and, is. And the boys are hanging free, which would be excellent in the oh. testicle contest because See? you could you could you could take I a picture. Look that up. You could. You, I 
totally look that up. <laughs> Do you know the number two on the leaderboard is it's from Minnesota? Minnesota. I know. Yeah. He's got some nice balls. Does really? Yeah, I have to look. I haven't checked. I haven't checked either. <laughs> huh. I'm surprised. Know, Megan, yeah, Megan so the whole thing isn't that. supposed to go in here then? Just your penis? Just your penis. Yeah. If you can put your balls in there, I suppose you can. That would be a fill in the hat. But <laughs> I think yeah. they'll be happy just in between. Sure, yeah. right, right. See, I mm. think anybody that enters the contest with that picture is going to be right. almost a shoe. Because <laughs> right? the, the, the winner's announced on Christmas. Oh, so okay. I mean, oh, yeah, I'm that telling would you right be now. Fitting. That yeah, would I suppose be great. if they held up their, you know, like right. that. Ta da. <laughs> that would be like Santa, wouldn't it? Because that the would, be. would be the yes. beard. Put a little eyes on the balls. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Put a little beard. Okay, yeah. so now I'm thinking yeah, the hairy eyes. beard. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, Get her started on googly eyes. Somebody has you. to take a picture of this. Ross, hold that up. Let's take a picture. Michael, take a picture, and we've got to get that to Miss Megan. Yes, I'll get for that For the uh, Great Northern Sex Cast Facebook page, because now we've talked so much about this, people have to see what it is. That's right, perfect. yeah. I don't think I would wear this. Maybe not, but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, awesome. it, it, it might last for you know about 10 seconds for the entertainment value. And I want that, and again, really, that's what most lingerie is for anyway. That's fantastic. Right. It's, 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 that's fantastic. It's gift wrapping. It is. <laughs> Yes, it is. But like know. lingerie, it comes off soon. Because okay, there's, right. there's foundation wear, you know, oh, yeah. which is what you wear every day. But the other stuff, I foundation consider gift wrapping. But I consider, oh, that gift, God. I consider that gift wrapping. Sure. Yeah, because I mean, really, I didn't want the girls like flopping all over the damn place. For sure. No, no, that's not comfortable. So I, I was getting ready, and there's so much Christmas themed stuff right now um, out there that, you know, you know, they're playing the Honda commercials, Happy Holidays or Happy mm -hmm. Honda Days. We need Happy Horny Days. Yeah. We've got <laughs> to get that. We've got to find a way to get our hands on that. And and, um, and sound edit it. I have enough friends in the business that can help me with that. There you go. Right. So I'm working on it just so that we can have it for our Christmas show that's coming I up. I love that idea. Happy yeah. horny days. Yeah, I like happy that. horny days. Um, so, Ross, let's get started real quick with you. Um, you Tell us like how you got to where you are, because you have several different pursuits. Tell us everything that you have going on and how you got there. Uh, well, I used to own a mortgage business. No kidding. When the economy went south, I was trying to get back into the corporate world. And then a friend of mine told me to start a uh, blog. And I said, what the fuck is a blog? <laughs> and he said, it's this thing where you talk about what you do all day long. And I said, I don't understand why anyone would do that. And he goes, no, check this out. And so I went on, started looking at all these blogs. And I saw all these mommies with their, like, scroll, scroll. Oh, look at my kid just picked up a rock, you know. Or, yeah. You know, oh, look at my daughter's, you know, going down a slide. Isn't this cute? Whatever. And then, oh, and in between all that, I made this, you know, foie gras mousse kind of a deal. And uh, I said, I do not get why anyone would read something like that. So he's like, but do it. So I did it. And then... Um, what was your first uh, area of subject matter? What, what I was talking about... I mean, I talk about the, still the same, the same thing, but I hate that where you have to scroll, 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 scroll. So it's just one picture. It's what inspired me. And then it's the recipe or the idea or the how-to, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And... Um, but... You know, I started with a thousand people, which I thought was crazy a lot back then. Mm -hmm. And then within six months, I had like 50,000 people who were following me. And I'm like, what is this all about? <laughs> like, I think maybe wow. something's going on here. And in the meantime, I created uh, my own dinnerware collection and then was getting traction off of that. Um, and surprisingly, like within two months after I started, actually Fox contacted me to be on their show, but it was just a one-time deal. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then I was on again, I think six months later, uh, but then Facebook came out and I became friends with this person. Um, you know, you look back, you're thinking, you know, like, what are some of those moments, those defining moments within your career? Yeah. And, um, and come to find out he was Oprah chef. So he ended up getting me on TV in Chicago. I was doing that. And then, you know, it was just all these, I didn't have to sleep with anybody. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's always that my career spices. is not based on me sleeping with anybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, I think that might be a lie. <laughs> and um, I'm like, holy crap. But, um, you know, I am I just met with an agent the other day, a potential agent. And she's telling me, oh, I love you. I love you. I love what you do. And she said, um, I want to talk to Target about you. And I said, now, you need to know, if you really watch me, you need to know, like, I'm very abrasive. I don't know if Target's really going to love me all that much. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. She said they're wanting to kind of move in that edgy direction era. where mm -hmm. they want edgy people and people who cause reactions and stuff. And But that's been kind of my aha moment is that in the beginning, I was taking everybody's advice on what to do. You know, oh, don't do this, don't do this. People would send me all – because everybody's got an opinion about what you're supposed to be doing. Indeed. 
you probably deal with this. Yes. And uh, and I decided in January, fuck everybody. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because if I ever become something, which that's not my goal. I'm just living my life out loud. But if I ever become something, I don't want to have that George Michael syndrome. Where all of a sudden it's like, oh, no. Now I really want to be me. And then your career just goes to tank, you know. Yeah, no, so no, it's no, like if I become point. somebody, then, you know, I am what I am what I am. So I'm fortunate to be on Fox. Yep. Um, they never lecture me about anything that I do, which is really nice. And, uh, and I'm going to start back in Chicago next week, which will be cool on WGN. See, okay. I, I actually have like chills because this is the coolest thing. I love stories like this, Ross, because when, when life, like, you know, that, that a lot of people, I mean, the mortgage industry, which I happen to do a lot of business with, I mean, as a consultant, they lost over half of the people that were in it and they probably should have. I just, yeah. I was like, I'm done with it. I wasn't doing the shitty loans like people were. Yeah. But a lot of those guys Um, wanted to go. Right, right, right. Yeah. And they still are. There's still a lot of those people still doing that shit but um but i'm like like, i'm not gonna do it the universe said ross this is your calling and and you were like guided to where you need to be it's cool you know what i mean i say the universe spread its legs (laughs) okay well i I steal that (laughs) i want to steal go ahead no totally (laughs) use it that's a good totally use it so you have okay tell us when on fox um we can find you and then tell us about what the chicago schedule is going to look like before we get to the podcast i'm on fox on tuesdays and fridays i usually do home stuff on tuesdays Mm -hmm. and then i always cook on fridays because people you know, 80% of people who are driving home from work don't know what they're going to eat for dinner. Yep. And my whole shtick is kind of trashy, classy, mm-hmm. you know, um, mm-hmm. something that's fairly easy. And then the gig with WGN, um, hopefully, what's well, just going to be a one-time deal right now. Mm-hmm. But then hopefully, if it goes well, which I firmly believe that it will. Um, then hopefully we'll turn into a weekly situation. So I go there twice a month and then God, pre-tape so a second cool. segment. But what people have to know when they're listening to this, like, because it all sounds fun, it all sounds glamorous, you know, I don't get paid for this. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> they think, you know, you're making millions of dollars or whatever. Right. But the reality is, is like, I don't get paid to go to Chicago. I get paid by Fox, but it's not, you know. Yeah. I mean, I love you, Fox, if you're listening. I doubt they're listening. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like, that's not where, you know, my income comes from. You have to... And I just was having this conversation with someone yesterday that there's really no reason unless you have an ego the size of, you know, Alaska to be on TV regularly, unless you have a product to sell. Right. Like if I wasn't, if my goal wasn't to have my name on as many things as possible, so I'm making money while I'm sleeping, I would have no desire to be on television. It's, you know what a lot of people don't realize about TV? It's, it's hard. It's, it's a pain in the butt. I mean, you got to get, you know, there, it's, it's a different sort of thing. I mean, I've been in radio for a thousand right. years, but like TV, I mean, I don't hate it, but it's like, oh shit, you got to do all this crap to your face. Everything here, you can't have your hair or it looks goofy. And then, you know, and there's a different, I think it's harder. I don't know. What do you? Well, I mean, I've been on uh, radio a couple of times. I've never had, um, luckily, and again, this comes as a surprise to even me. I've never had any hate, hateful messages ever sent to me. That's great. Oh, good. Fox has never received anything hateful about me, which is shocking. Oh, God, I get hate. You know, we, could, cra- we, could, we could hate stuff all the time. Occasionally, we even get letters to the stores. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's, which is that whole thing where you're like, well, you must be on the right path. I think so. You know, so. because you're not getting, um, and I just, do what I, you know, want to do. But I don't look, to me, TV, I guess back to your original question, because this is my problem on my podcast, as I completely go off center. Um, no. Is that, yeah. Oh, this is why uh, I want no. prescription pills, but nobody <laughs> wants to give me prescription pills that Bastards. aren't prescribed to me, by the way. Yeah. Um, is that, uh, to me, TV is just effortless. Like, it doesn't, and but people don't get that, that perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that, you know, like just because all your friends tell you, oh, you guys are the real housewives, you know, or you, you know, you're so pretty or you're crafty, you should be on TV, whatever. Yeah. It's not easy. Uh-uh. It really isn't. I saw some people just the other day and I was like, really, you, you are not translating yeah. um, on the television. But, and even for cooking, like on Fridays, I'll cook for probably two days. For five, you know, just to be on there for four minutes, right? You know, yeah, you have to prepare, yeah, it's, it's, and then that four minutes is done, and you know that two days worth of work is it's it's over, yeah. No, and you're expected yeah. to finance all that, by the way. Yeah, really, you got to pay oh, for all that. Sure, uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. It's uh, it's, it's you a can't lot. get any of that given to you. No, oh. it's it's amazing. So, so <laughs> anyway, Tuesdays yeah, and Fridays. Yeah. Now, okay, so you started the good podcast. When did when did you uh, launch? 
Oh, uh, I think a month and a half ago about is a... when we started. Okay, how you doing? What, what's it about and how are you doing? Uh, well, my intention was it for, to, for it to be an extension of what I do on Fox. Yep. But, you know, it's, it's so funny because, and you know this, being on radio, as soon as those handcuffs are off of you, oh, yeah. you can't say fuck and pussy enough. I know. <laughs> and so, it's liberating. It's so liberating. <laughs> and so now I've reached that point where it's like, okay, I think I've sworn enough. I'm I'm over it. Aaron's yeah. kind of like, <laughs> I think you're in the middle now, so to speak. <laughs> Um, but I'm really, and I'd love to be able to do it every day, but, um, you know, I just want it to be about life and I want it to be inspiring and I want people to kind of always hear, um, the struggle and the journey and, mm -hmm. um, but yet I'm still making cupcakes and, you know, homemade graham crackers and, oh, and this is how I, you know, garden heirloom tomatoes. Oh, that's <laughs> along with you know, I don't know how to clean lube out of your sheets. Yeah. Right, I right. Think that's a beautiful and, mix. Right, it's yeah. it's well, you know what though? That's the thing. Like that's why <laughs> it's real life. It's that thing where everybody says, "Oh, you shouldn't be talking about this, or you shouldn't be talking about this." And I thought, I do all this shit. Like, why can't I talk about all the shit right. I do? You know, and I have to, I, I have to love Fox for letting you do what you do because, you know, I think, I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, and I, I do have a lot of friends that still are in, you know, local network news and even national and stuff. And I love them dearly and everything else, but it's so boring, passe and constipated that I can barely, barely stand it. Right. I mean, I can't even watch some of my favorite people because I know how the sausage gets made with news. Um, cause I, I was a, um, a reporter myself and it's like, you you know, they're just being fed a bunch of crap, and then and then the beautiful people are paid just to read it. They have no connection to what happened or how it got there or anything else. And somebody's decided exactly what we get spoon fed. And yep. I'm like, no. no, yeah, it's all, yeah. it's all, yeah, it is. No, not. Yep. No. no, that's one of the reasons when I was doing, you know, when I did radio and TV commercial and stuff, I wrote it because yeah. the only person who's going to talk about right. my store is going to be my point of view. Right. And then I would always be amazed at what one radio station will let me say and what another radio station will let me say right. or yeah. what the TV station would let me say. And I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I cannot say the word, I mean, vibrator. I cannot say that on a radio commercial. Yeah. It has to be personal toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting how that rebranding happens. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, sexual health is, you know, has become something that you can say. Uh, but if you don't put the word health on the end of it, you know, you know, it's too it's, much. It's too much. Yeah. And you certainly could talk about, you know, uh, pullets and roosters and cocks, but you can't talk about a cock ring. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Uh, so I've like, and, and that's and, on radio. And that's on radio. Well, obviously, TV yeah. would yeah. get away with that. Yeah. And right. it's just uh, uh, always been this really interesting thing where I will write something that is so, in what I consider just milk toast, like you wouldn't believe. And I'm like, you want me to change what? what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, okay, right. let me think about this. Because I, I mean, I, you don't want to be boring. I mean, everyone, no, can, people, I mean that's, people can flip the channel in right, nanoseconds. Right. That's why I I approached it from day one when they asked me on this. I'm like, I have to be a character. Yes. Mm -hmm. And because people want to, like, be entertained. They want someone there with balls, you know, yeah. like throwing around their balls and stuff. So, well, not literally, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Certainly. And, um, and to Fox's benefit, like, I've never been told what to do. I get to choose all my own content. And, um, and even when I got all my tattoos, cause I just got all of these rough and started about six months ago, I never asked their permission and they never talked to me about it. I was never reprimanded That's about awesome. any of it. So, um, as much as I think all those people in the office area there hate me, I must be doing something right. Um, you know, so anyways, enough about me. No, I feel no, like I'm, no, I don't know. People don't get that and forgive me, but no. you, I mean, you know, people don't get the value of like. When you really look at all that, the yeah. fact that, you know, most people kind of are, and I love Tom and Keith and Kelly and, you know, but, um, but it's really kind of like most people that are on TV, they really try to water everything down yeah. because they're like, how can I have as much mass appeal as possible? Right. And I was like, I'm mm -hmm. appealing to you. Mm -hmm. I'm the freak. If you're a freak, you're going to love to watch me. Right. If you're not, you can change the channel or you're going to be like, holy shit, did you see that freak on TV? I mean, even <laughs> that's just you it. Know, and but, that's a beautiful place right, to put yourself. Right, I love right, that. Right. And it's risky. Yeah. But then you're living authentically, which is what I, you know, you I'm trying to, to yeah. do. I think that's fabulous. Yeah, because I've never tried to, I mean, we, we tried, and I've said this before in our stores, I don't have a back room. 
because if you have a back room, that means something's wrong with that. And I never lied about it because there are plenty of stores that have oh, yeah. lingerie in front or this or that. And if you go around the corner, you know, they've got the toys. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, come on. And because we've never lied about something, I'll have a city official knocking on a wall looking for the secret room. Now, this hasn't happened in about a decade. But if I was <laughs> to get a lease next week, I know whatever city I am in, they would be knocking on the walls looking for the secret room. Yeah. And I'm like, no, this is what we are. We put it right out there. I don't lie. Yeah. I don't, you know, and it just, it's. It, what would be in a secret room? I don't know what they're looking for. Maybe they're looking for glory hole booths. Maybe I have no idea, room. but we don't boo, boo, And they tend to freak out over the bondage. Oh my mm-hmm. God. Do they, they freak out over the bondage more than almost anything else. I mean, you can really? go to Home Depot and buy rope right now and zip ties. You know, no, nobody's picketing Home Depot. But I think it's because I don't think they liked the fact that I, that we just, we are what we are, you know, and that's always freaked people out. I didn't hide behind a back room or a, or, or a, um, I think things name. like that, though, stir up emotions in people that they do have, mm-hmm. but then they don't like the fact that they have it. And oh. so they blame you for it. Right. You know, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. sure. you know, yeah, they want a ball gag, but. Oh yeah. They freak. Yeah. I, right. That's the one thing they go. I said, what do you, okay. They come up with things that I can't come up with and I sell this stuff. So I'm like, what goes on in your (laughs) mind? Who's like, what's the craziest thing you sell? You think like, what, or what's the latest thing that you've gotten where you're like, holy shit. Like who came up with this? Uh, I think the meat cleaver is one of the craziest. What? What? It's a meat cleaver. I don't have any right now, but what is it? It is. Um, it goes around your penis and then you have these little poles that stick into the urethra of your penis and it spreads it apart. (gasps) Holy That's moly! I want it. And yeah. that just disturbs me. Yeah, and it, it, it does sell. And there's another it item. Sells. And there's oh another God. item that actually squashes your testicles between place uh, pieces of like plexiglass. And I have. To oh, admit, is that like from Oxballs? Oh, I love. We Oxballs. sell a lot of Oxballs. Oxballs is fantastic. No, this yes. is a different company. But so I, you know, and what's been, we've been getting more requests for uh, the electro stim stuff that I put right. online, but I, it hasn't quite have enough you know, uh, examples Traction. to, to put in the stories. Yeah. Right. It's pretty pricey, but I'm like, there's an awful lot of people that want to zap their testicles and their, uh, 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 cause the majority of the stuff skews male on this. Mm-hmm. Right. It really does. Um, and so when someone walks up to the counter with a meat cleaver, <laughs> Like, are they real casual about it? Oh yeah, my my customers don't care. Yeah, okay. They know what so, they want. I love that. Like, they, I they, love the fact they're that they're very so open and they talk to us. I'm, I'm right. an, I manage five of the stores, okay. and I'll go out there and they'll just they'll just drop it right on the table. This is my problem. This is what do you have to solve it? Oh, like, yeah, I spent wow. probably twenty minutes talking to a customer when we were tearing apart our Bloomington location the other day to put new counters in because he was looking for the East M stuff. And since I was putting the stuff online, I knew the two companies we carried. And I'm talking about this and what's going through there. I knew this guy for ten seconds. And we're like, blah, 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 right. blah. And, <laughs> and I'm not even sure he knew I was the owner of the company, right. but I'm the one that was working on this particular project. So I just went over there and talked to him. And so are they saying that they're wanting to east stim their testicles or oh. specifically? Okay. Because mm-hmm. I always just think about that as, you know, putting the, the um, whatever you call them, the nodes, whatever you call them, like on your dick. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah. not yeah, on your yeah. balls. The ten, yeah. The, yeah, the, the it, tens. The tens, yeah. The tens, yeah. yeah. See, I think you guys have a culture, though, Ross. Uh, I mean, if you if you believe listened I'm to admitting s- that I know all this, <laughs> <laughs> but I do. Oh no, no, lots. Of, yeah, believe me. I that. do. People are like listening to me right now. No, because I told people to listen. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we, we don't release until this afternoon. Oh, so we're, oh, we're, then we're, we're good to go right for a while. <laughs> okay. Um, but you know, there's a culture in fantasy gifts um, where everybody that works there. I mean, and they've they've done a great job with, with their people and their relationships with their customers, where people feel comfortable coming up and saying, "Hey." You know, right. I got this issue, I need that, or I want to feel like that, or whatever. And they just put it out there. We make them at ease right away. So it's right. like you come up to our cashier, and you're nervous and everything. They put you at ease right away that you will just let everything out. I get so many um, questions and concerns that, you know, you really need to be asked to a professional because I'm not a doctor. But right. I can give them what opinion I have, but then I, I do suggest they right. see the doctor before they make any decisions. <laughs> right. So no, it's been it's been fascinating because when it really in nineteen you know late seventies early eighties when my you know parents started this, people would just grab the item, put it face down on the counter, pay for it, and get the hell out. And now there's a whole conversation about everything. But isn't that <laughs> fantastic? That it is. And I it's love that. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's more work for us, but I'm fine with that. Right. Because I you know, and I I need to know if you know 
you know, there are companies we trust, there are products we trust, there are things we trust, but if something's, you know, not working right, I want to hear from that, you know, customer or see what's going through there. And you need to have more questions because, you know, people what might work for one person is going to be way too strong for another mm -hmm. so you need to have some questions and we want to earn the trust of our customers we don't want to just lead them into something that is going to be useless and right. not work for them so right. we take it out of the packaging we throw batteries in it we let them test all the power you know not technically test no, like I don't you're putting have a that away room. but here's <laughs> the, like, that is a huge dick that right is there. yes it's That's a bullet shape it's yeah. called you know. American bombshell but that is a bullet shaped does dildo get, does it get does it sell a lot does it vibrate anything this big in our store sells yeah this really? one does because it's it's it truly a dildo. Oh, you know, okay. it's, it's going through there. Is that a suction and cup on the bottom? And it's only big because it's it's thick. I wouldn't say it's I long. Oh, it's there, like, there, there are larger normal. ones. But, oh, I mean, there's larger. But uh, then you have something simple like this that sells like crazy. Oh, you could just put this in your bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and God, I know I you put it on I the don't mic. understand this. Isn't you that don't? soft, though? Huh? You don't understand <laughs> that? <laughs> like, well, <laughs> Ross is giving it a thorough, like, thorough here's going the over. Way, well, I'm touching it because I'm going. I was just having a conversation with someone the other day, and they were talking about having a vibrating dildo up their ass. And I was like, I couldn't imagine that. And um, um, that's not my role so to speak okay, I, I, okay. <laughs> and um and so but now i'm feeling it and i'm going no i wouldn't but you it, don't think i'm not a bottom but okay so well, um, this one but can't that would i would get numb i feel like it would make me numb because my hands are kind of numb right now yeah it would that's one of the reasons that there was some, so some i don't want a numb ass i no. suppose no. But no, and i would not suggest putting anything in your ass, ass that does not have a stopper because in your ass, is <laughs> all right, that, this, that would like go a big in pill. there. That would be like a big pill up your Oh body. my God, Liz is one of the fantasy gifts crew that comes in here. She can explain to you in excruciating detail exactly what can happen and how it happens if something like that gets sucked up there. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want. She wanna... knows all oh, about it. This would it. be. This is more realistic. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. But that's more an external, you know. Oh, you know, oh just no for like a second. Yeah, I wouldn't. The, the whole. Yeah, that wouldn't. Would that would, you'd lose that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, like the difference between a vagina is an, uh, a closed cavern. So, yeah, you can put Kegel balls and everything. They're not going to go get lodged in anything. But an ass, it goes all the way up your intestines. So, oh, you know, God. if okay. that thing ends up in your mouth, then you know you've gone too far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that the I litmus test? <laughs> <Right>. Okay. <laughs> I've got a tickle in my throat. Like, what's going on? Oh, there's that Benoit ball that got loose. Oh, shit. Can you imagine? At Thanksgiving, it would be really awkward. No, because one of the things we have is that you have a lot of things, and you know, you have a big vibrator, you've got a little vibrator, and if someone comes in and picks up the bigger one, they're like, have you had a used toy before? We want a little one. Right. Start, you know, start small. It's hard for me to imagine. I mean... Oh well, yeah, I'm like I'm just testing it out. But isn't it, isn't the, the vibration on that a it's, little strong? It's a little disturbing. Yeah, it is. It's a little it's strong. Yeah. It sells like crazy. so. How much is something like that? This one is twenty two ninety five. Oh really? And this is nice, isn't and it? And it's called yeah. gyration sensations. Yeah. We need to. You need to get your all your products mentioned there. Oh yeah. And we'll the, look, look at that. The one that I would be afraid to sit on. What is that one called again? The American bombshell. bombshell. Yes. Wow. So this is the uh, B ten missile. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. and that's a, I think that's one of the smaller of our line of bombshells. I'm telling you, American Bombshell comes up with a huge. Yeah. You think this makes you cringe? Yeah. Now, your customer for that is it mainly gay men? We do have a, a big line in our Minneapolis store. That's where a lot of our gay men shop. Sure, um, but we do carry that at our Burns because the gay. Men, I live they in Saint Paul, and there are some gay men on Saint Paul. They too, are too. Okay. So we do don't keep know where a, lot, is a lot. Of times. I know, but our Seventh Street store also will carry um, a few of these items as well. Sure. Okay. But we 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 are so bigger when stuff you see sells. something like that, like would you put that up your hooch? Uh, no, that's that's just no. I no because I I'd, I'd be afraid it would never go back. If I if it, you mean your right. hooch would never shrink. <laughs> right, right, exactly. That's what I would think. Um, I no, that's that's a little too much for me. Right yeah, there, no. but uh, that's no, even too much for me. I'm yeah, the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sonia. I mean that's huge. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, that thing is. We'll put a picture. Well, I don't know if we can put a picture up because we're not sure. Is not it shaped as a penis, so we might be able to okay, talk yeah. to the. That no. thing is like, and we this need, is... and we need to put something next to it for size proportion. Like, so hold yeah. up a dollar bill we'll next to it. Put a can of coke next to it. Yeah, there you go. I'm like, I put my dick next to it. You can just. <laughs> that we wouldn't be able to put online. <laughs> I would. I know. <laughs> but you know, one of the things we've been selling. What is, is that? that? Oh, 
Oh, here, Michael, you, you explain <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. So you, this you, is you've a... got the equipment. See, I don't have the equipment for this. <laughs> Just talk so... to the guy. I can talk to you about prostates, everything. This is our cock ring. This has some four metal balls in there to hold you nice and snug. But these are for your testicles. So you can separate your testicles. Testicles. So it's just like a ball separator. Yes, it is. And it's a vibrating one. Is it so. like an egg separator? Or... Eggs, exactly. Oh, eggs, you're you're right. separating another... your eggs. Your eggs, right. <laughs> you don't want to put all your eggs you... in the basket. Oh, <laughs> is this silicone? That is, um, I believe because silicone. Because I could never Otherwise, get my TPE. balls through those holes. No, it does stretch oh, a lot. Right. I can open yeah. this for you. <laughs> they, stre- they, they stretch. I'm like, that's for a 12-year-old. <laughs> right, yeah. No, they do stretch. No. because You don't have to open it for me. I'm not going to put it on. You need to pull them off, come on. No, no. you got to pull it off. So anything I suggest putting on your balls or your testicles, you need to be able to release quick. Oh, sure. Oh, those are really yeah. stretchy. It's so, like a It's just jelly. to keep them it's separated. Like, they're like jelly bracelets All for your balls. snug, you know. Yeah. Make them feel good. And, yeah. And a vibration. <laughs> oh, and it vibrates. Yes. It vibrates. Oh, yeah. I was like, Ooh. I didn't want to ensure the battery. And that will vibrate your testicles it. and your penis just great because it's right in the middle. So we're doing a little bit of a, of a Christmas shopping uh, thing here with Ross, an impromptu um, show him a bunch of things. It's like what Oprah's favorite things, but different. Yes. Right. And but this not. is our man this line. This is too much vibration. It can, and you cannot... Have I, you heard like, that I, before? Like, do you find? Uh, I I don't know if I say. Do I do you find that as well? Um, you I've been know, married like, over a year. I don't remember. <laughs> what did you say? Wow! I've been Open married over, over a year. Oh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, you wouldn't remember. No, you're right. You're dead now. <laughs> yeah, your penis no. is dead. Your yeah. ass is dead. <laughs> They have um, those for that. We sell too. <laughs> oh my wow. god, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> things are dwindling. Things can get put right back right. up. You know. And I always suggest when when you know, it comes to the pills, we use the cock rings. I like the all natural, where my penis, my body's doing the thing. I don't like putting any foreign, anything foreign, like the pills or anything. I know they work for some people, but I think people rely on them too much, and they set a mind frame that they will never get a hard on again unless they take a stimulant. I don't. I don't. You mean like that. like um, a pill, like Viagra, Viagra or something? Unless you or absolutely CLS need or it. Right. I wouldn't put that in my body unless you absolutely need it because we got a lot, a lot of twenty-one year olds that are hooked on the pills and they won't be able to get a penis hard on without them. Yep. So As right there, as opposed to a vagina hard on. It, well, Let's just make yeah, <laughs> hard on, hard on. You know, <laughs> <laughs> nipple hard on. You know. No, yeah. I mean, I suppose that's true. It could be in a, a mindset. So it's like. Don't do it unless you have to. Otherwise, I would go with it's just this cock ring because that just keeps the blood flow up there and keeps right. you hard. The, I think the Oxballs cock rings. The Oxballs is a great the best, line. The best, the best. I know. It's just, some of those things look so confusing. Like, where does my dick go? Where does my balls go? You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> right with some of their products. Yeah, it's very confusing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we, we used to have a lot of fun because my parents had no idea what this stuff was. So people would ask for it. We get it in, and we're looking at it, going, "Well, how do we display it? And where does everything go? And you can't, you know." Like, I can go with Michael. I said, you've got the parts. You know, figure this out. I'm not looking at my brother or my father going, you've got the parts. How does this work? Right. See, that's not happening. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's always been. I'm like, this is pretty cool. With the little Even balls that. I look at that and go, because the balls part is so far apart from the dick part. Mm-hmm. Like, how would that work? It's my, mm-hmm. you know, my balls <laughs> and dick are fairly thought. close to each other. They are very close, but <laughs> they are meant to stretch a little bit, right. too. So I right. think that's what the thrill is, because you're stretching your balls. We have right. ball stretchers, actually, sure. where you put both of them in and yep. stretches your sack mm-hmm. down. I couldn't do that. Oh. I don't want my shit hanging down to my yeah. knees at one time. You know, I'm getting older, you know. Things yeah, don't tend to go gravity. back. <laughs> yeah, natural gravity, exactly. Or when they were putting oh, weights gravity's on their balls. Oh, not going to pull your balls down that No, far. but when they put weights on their balls, right. that's pulling them down. It's like, um, that's not right. going to jump back as quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. I'm not I'm not about promoting any kind of sagging. No. Nothing that, that can cause any sort of gravity gravitational pull on, you know, no. Not at, no. I'm at that particular age. Real quick, Ross, before I forget to ask you this, um, when does your podcast post every week? When are you um, on? On Fridays. I do it live on Fridays. It's about 10, 30, okay. 11 o'clock. Right in there? Okay. So, so that's how to find you. And I, I'm seeing a beautiful partnership growing here. <laughs> I, I Ross is going following, to yeah. have to come back. I mean, there's... Well, I need to have you guys on my podcast mm-hmm. because oh, I think... To. But I want a videotape. I like, I want, I'm going to start blabbing everything. Have you okay. heard of blab? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. that's pretty new. Because I love neat. like having all the interactions. I have interaction. a face for radio, though. Huh? I have a I face totally for do. radio. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I didn't oh, mean it. Thanks. <laughs> that's no, not but true. we're always available. That's not true. That would be fun. So, guys, um, I think because I mean, it, it, this is flying by. Um, so much to talk about. Uh, we have news. We've got news, and Ross needs to chime in on the. I'm trying to make the teletype go down. Um, no, they, they, there's no shortage of uh, people doing weird things in Florida. Nude. Always. Anything we have to do? Oh, we're, we're in Iceland this time. Oh, wait. Someone oh. did something weird in Florida? That's such a surprise. I know, right? <laughs> we're always surprised if it's not in Florida. Florida. Right, yeah. exactly. kind of how we roll around here. So I just saw the story um, title, um, and I had to look at it, and earmuff porn. First of all, I'm a huge fan of attaching porn to anything that people have become obsessed with, which, Ross, you regularly engage in food porn. On Fridays, mm -hmm. you create food porn. Mm -hmm. um, but the earmuff porn thing um it talked about i don't know in people named chester i don't know i anybody named chester i'm always going to look but the guy that invented earmuffs is named chester he was 15 when he did it and you guys have to see some of the coolest earmuffs ever that have come out i hate hat hair so you got to look it up i sent the link we got to put this on there but the then the story about earmuff porn it's cute it's a christmasy thing might be a good gift idea just wanted to mention that naked dude in box I saw that. Did you see? Did you look Before it up? Before you even sent me the outline, I see, was googling or I was rolling around because I do look at nasty stuff on my. You know, it's work. It's for work. It's yeah. for work. Yeah. And it just took me to that link of that guy sitting in this clear box in just, Iceland. In Iceland, just hanging out, just doing his daily activities, huh? He's a performance artist. Oh, of course. And um, it's 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 a you know desired result. He he allegedly was accused because this is being videotaped of masturbating. So they shut YouTube shut it down, and Google's like, well, I don't know. Can we put this out there? I'm not really sure. <laughs> he claims he's not mas masturbating. His wife's stepping up. I mean, this huge controversy, which is doing what? Because he's an artist, getting his name out there. But mm -hmm. what I thought was kind of amusing is um, there's a hashtag for this in what do they speak in Iceland? Icelandic, I guess. Right? Icelandic, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nakanikasa. <laughs> Nakanikasa. Oh, and so you can go uh, and see the tweeting and all of the updates. But yeah, here's another person, not unlike everybody that goes into reality TV trying to do something, who got exactly what he wanted. And so we'll see what his next stunt or, you know, what he gets as a result. But yeah. Is maybe. he worth looking at in that box? He, uh, I'm trying to Google it here. It looks he's like he's of, doing, he looks like he's masturbating. It does. From the blurred out pictures that he's I've seen. Of, he's hunky and blonde. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I think he's pretty. He's good. not a masturbate. He's, gonna, he's in a box. How boring would that be? <laughs> what else you know? is he going to do? Right. What else is he going to do? Right. <laughs> you I, know? I, I feel you. I think, though, that he would be a naked dude in a box, like, in July. Because, I mean, even, you know, it's cold now. I mean, even in Iceland, shrink, it just seems... Shrink the hell up. Yeah, that's oh. why he's rubbing like, it. Where is he doing this? <laughs> in, in, uh, he's actually in an art in, uh, institute. Oh, he, oh, he's inside uh, a like building. Like an art gallery. Yeah, I'm sort of imagining him sort of like near a hot spring <laughs> in a box or a volcano <laughs> in the background. He's in some of, building, I know that. Idyllic lakes. Yeah. You know. And he's then like, you'll find him at the walker in six <laughs> weeks. Right, right. <laughs> See? No. Yeah, he's going no. on Thursdays. It's free that day. <laughs> yeah, he's actually... Does that museum make any fucking sense to you? No. When I wandered in and saw the... The, the 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 vertical blind that was sort of spr sprawled out on the floor and there was something I'm like really right <laughs> <laughs> that happened the last time I tried to clean my I blinds mean, I mean like least, really at least yeah. you made well, art guess what you <laughs> yeah. sell that for thirty thousand dollars to the walker I mean at least the art where where people put paint on their bodies and then used a trampoline to jump up against a, a canvas I can sort of deal with using your yes. whole body as a print but I could not or even the nude penis guy that penis is painters. painting with his penis he gets it all hard and he makes the most amazing paintings it's incredible. And, and he, there's video of him doing this <laughs> oh he's got a bot too he's, he's got, got an well, ass he's from right. Canada oh he's yeah. Oh, Canada, Canada has the sexy Santa. Oh, oh yeah. I haven't even seen that in yet. In Toronto, sexy dude being Santa. It's on. A, it's on the uh, one page. I'll get it over the great. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I you know I, t I've been having sort of a stressful week. So yes. when Megan found Canadian sexy Santa, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. this dude's hot. Yeah, oh, look up. Hot, 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 hot. And and just by reference, if you didn't hear the show where we talked about this, the guy goes by Picasso. 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 I have to look that up. Yeah, he's, he's, it's awesome. Yeah, he does a lot. Work is really he's cool. done a lot of work. I'm I'd hang you. that. I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want to get. I want to take a poll here. Have you guys heard of the I love Lug I love ugly men's jewelry line and the controversy surrounding it? Mm -mm. Really cool jewelry. It's out of New Zealand, um, and it's it's expensive stuff. And their ad campaign has it's naked oh, women's yeah. bodies. Okay. <laughs> 
and the hands like rings you know with uh, covered up with stuff um they're over like women's breasts there's one on an ass and there's one with the girl's legs spread and the hand is covering her vagina with you know the joy i gotta tell you these pictures are cool i mean i really i thought the pictures were well done very artsy and mm. but the of course there's a feminist contingent that's having an absolute meltdown oh objectification oh this is terrible I think the pictures are awesome. I'm sure, and the bodies are beautiful, and Aww. so is the jewelry. Um, but I think that these models got paid, did it willingly. It's, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is horrible? It depends on, I mean, if they got paid well, and it depends on who's making the money. If someone else, I mean, if they were doing it and not making any money from their body, then it's objectification. If they're making money and, it, and, it, and it's about, oh, God, that's, that's so vague. But uh, you know, who has the power in the photo and all that sort of stuff? And the human body is not obscene. The it's human, not. The know, human body it. is, oh, here's Sexy Santa with a puppy, by the way. Okay, I'll pass that around. That. And uh, the, um, but it's just, it's fascinating because jewelry is sexy. The human body is sexy. The, everything is, you know, it works together. I, I don't see how you sell a, like a spark plug or you sell. <laughs> know, that's, he's so hot. Yeah, he's yeah, so hot. Yeah. You don't, I mean, that's what I find, you know, it, 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 they, they, there's, it works there. I mean, you know, yeah. there's nothing, there's nothing sensual about, you know, some you know, items and then you're using a, a, a human body, male or female to sell it. But if, if it goes together, I think it works out well. I love the pictures. Mm -hmm. I really love the pictures. And I mean, my what I, what conveyed to me when I looked at those is where this jewelry, you get your hands on this. And it's like, and the bodies, like I said, they are just smoking bodies. They're really- Is anybody even looking at the jewelry? <laughs> well, you know, be, they, they don't show any, because it's covered by the oh. hands with the jewelry. Hmm. So, I mean, it's the outline. And yeah, you, you, yeah, you're looking right at it because you're dying to see what's underneath it probably. Right. You right. know, if that's what turns your crank. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. That's look, interesting. Look up I, get, I just want to touch on something that you said, because I regularly on, so, well, on Facebook, I get tagged and reported for nudity all the fucking time. And I decided, because I just lost like 30 pounds. I know you guys don't know me very well, but I just lost 30 pounds since January. Mm -hmm. Yay. And so um, about two months ago, I, start, I started wearing tights to the gym because I feel like I'm naked. I love that, that whole feeling. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I post selfies of myself at the gym because I'm a foodie. You guys all know I'm a foodie. Mm -hmm. yep. I've not stopped. I really haven't changed my diet. I just bust my ass at the gym all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I have people who constantly report me for nudity because there's a bulge in my pants. <laughs> See, and I'm like, stupid. it's no different than seeing titties. Right. Why are we so scared as a society of the dick? Right. They this is what I don't get. It's like it's a power symbol. And... Um, and I just this I I went through about well it's not yesterday was my first day but I went through like three days where I was literally getting reported like every two to three hours, really. And for the same pictures that were reported earlier, so the human. My point is, is that yeah. the human body it's mm -hmm. it's just accepted for what it is. And right. don't There's look at it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And why 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 go to what is wrong with somebody that that takes the time to report you? Like seriously, right? If you're offended, don't look. I'm right, sorry, you know, scroll down. Yeah, yeah exactly. Or unfriend and, 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 and me. And it's or... like covered in fabric. I mean, right. Well, <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, or, or the, you know, the people that freak out over the you know, uh, you know, concept of a nipple or side right. boob. Or, I mean, it's just because they see an outline of a penis of where a penis is going to be. They're going to freak out. But yeah, yeah. I, I remember that I seen the picture. I did research you a little bit when we found out you're coming on our podcast. So I thought I know the picture you're talking yeah. about. But that That's was insane. a taste. That was a very tasteful picture. Right. You know, just because you. you see a penis outline, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not going to go and what's there. I'm not going to tuck for my selfies. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I think you should all be unapologetic owners of penises. Damn right. I'm a penis. I have a penis and I like it. And, right. I, and I'm glad for you. If you I'm get to see you if I'm one. hanging Rubble right or left, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of uh, penis themed things, I am really excited about this. I mean, have you guys seen the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile? Oh, yes. yes. There's a remote controlled one out for oh, Christmas. Shut you can up. have your own Wienermobile now. I actually got to saw the real one and I could not believe how excited I was. I wanted, it's huge. I, too. I know. I wanted it to is. touch it. It's like pet the, pet the Wienermobile. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. So we can get our own now. You got to that pet the exciting. Wienermobile. I did. And, and we could paint it. See? And it could look like something different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your mind goes there. <laughs> of course you did it's drone dildos. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I, can, I, I, I cannot hey. believe that someone oh. hasn't done it yet. We got to mount. Well, oh we got to mount another a real one on top of the Wienermobile, <laughs> and like definitely do races through the warehouse. Right. There you go. That would be awesome. I love that. We okay. have library races. Why not? See. Tell the races. <laughs> How, could that not be one hell of a charity fundraiser? Yes. Vibrator races. That would be awesome. Okay, let's think about that yeah. one. Yeah, we can you find think a really about good. It, yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and spend some time. You should do that in Niswa, right, <laughs> after, right after the turtle races are done, <laughs> or the fish house parade in Brainerd. Right. I actually reported on that yeah. one year. No, yeah. there is a bar in town that does do vibrator races. I don't know if they did because we supplied them with vibrators. Right. So I'm just. I think it was a ploy to get our. How did you not know everything about what went on? Well, we give them vibrators. They have a race. That's it. Yeah, because <laughs> that's so mundane for you guys. It is. It's God. Well, I did a radio show where I brought. They wanted vibrator race, vibrator races on the radio. I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> They did it. We well, heard the mind is pretty great, they did though. It and they yeah. built it, and you go through there, and they had uh, uh, they had folks listen to it and guess which one was going to win. <laughs> it was very, yeah. yeah. Am it I allowed fun. to ask a question? Sure. Well, I mean, you're allowed <laughs> to ask. I know, you're asking something. <laughs> just because I was having this conversation with somebody the other day, and I, I don't know if I can say this or not, but I'm just going to say it. Um, do you guys sell poppers? No. Or do you sell videotape cleaners? Which is the same thing as poppers, basically. Right. No. Uh, long... What is that stuff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Michael's exactly. It's yeah. a liquid that if you sniff. Oh, listen, if... I know what it is. Yeah, I know it. But I'm if... asking, like, what is it? It's it's sexual enhancement. They like to they get a bigger uh, rush. Why don't I put it this way? I've used them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. During... I'm trying to figure out, like, what is that liquid? I've always wondered. What oh, is I don't that? know. Oh, I have okay. no idea. I, I, I always thought it was, like, um, nail polish remover or something yeah. like that. Okay. No, it changes constantly um, because once they make a new formula, um, then it gets banned, and then they have to change the formula again, okay. and then it gets banned. Uh, we used to carry it. I When it started getting banned every five minutes... Mm. I went. I don't want to. Why do they ban? Why do they ban it? Because people are huffing it. You know, it, it does well. destroy brain cells. <laughs> and I thought about it. And I said, I, I can't keep up with right. what's legal and what's not legal. Right. And then when you accidentally break a bottle or two when you're transporting it, the van <laughs> smells like hell. My warehouse I'm smells like every hell. Time I'm driving. You're like, you don't know where you're driving. <laughs> and right. It, it ended up being an awful lot of work to try and keep up with what was legal and what was illegal. Right. And and I just went. Uh, and I and when when I knew what it was and, and stuff like that, but they kept changing it, and I just I'm you know I was uncomfortable with the idea of of people inhaling something. Yes, it, it that I don't know what it is, and yeah. they they change. I mean, I said the the uh, stuff you changes for all the time. The high road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> right. No, I just you know. So we stopped. We stopped doing it. Yeah. I, uh, we do get calls on that all the time. Like, uh, no, unfortunately, you have to go to with somebody else. But you know, it's it would put us. I think we have a classy kind of stuff. If we have magazines or things like that, it would put us uh, like in the the bookstore atmosphere. And we're trying to keep ourselves classier sure. than the bookstore atmosphere. Sure. No, it's sure. yeah, no. like I said, it's sort of like uh, when people started wanting me to start selling all of that uh, uh, fake, um, uh, fake drug stuff. I mean, it was perfectly legal ten I years ago. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, it was like a fake yeah, marijuana, or fake something. marijuana, no. bath salts, all that sort of yeah. stuff. I could uh, I could have easily sold that because uh, people keep at, you know asking me for it, and I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but that's why people are ending up naked in Florida, bath salts and. Well, oh gosh, that's right. I don't remember that. He yeah. was smoking bath salts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so I don't want to. I don't want to encourage things like that. And I'm right. not going to give them the tools. And there was a, there right. was a business up, and it just, and I don't think that it it does as well. I mean, with my, you know, a lot of a lot of folks that sell toys are also selling paraphernalia now. And I mean, mm. I get magazines that have half advertisements for, yeah. um, you know, uh, personal toys and half as you know, uh, stuff for you know, pinch hitters and bongs. And I'm like, no, that's it's a separate business. I mean, personally, I think banning pinch I watch, hitters. Yeah. What's a pinch hitter? Well, just a little tiny. Um, I live in Woodbury. Yeah, remember. just a little <laughs> tiny. Um, uh, Instead of rolling a joint, you can just put a little bit of pot in it and take oh, like, like a one, one hit, one, like, oh, one hitter, like a yeah. one hitter. All right. And it was just, and I'm like, no, I don't want to. One, it ends up you end up running afoul of a lot of different laws that different cities do, and you don't have to deal with that. And then you, I'm like, I'm trying to have a store that is positive and happy and stuff like that. And even though I don't believe in the majority of the drug laws, they're still there. 
Yeah. Right. And I'm just like, I don't want to You guys have that. so much stuff to fight as it is. You know, yeah. it's like, it's why? Be another yeah. freaking battle. I totally get I've that. <laughs> I get that. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. So I'm sorry, but, um, and, and with no disrespect to the victims or um, not to be insensitive uh, to how they may feel about it, I find flashers hysterical. I think oh, it's yes. got to be one of the stupidest, <laughs> most bizarre things. And if somebody did that to me, I think I would absolutely split a gut. Okay. I would totally. I'd but, want to take a selfie. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. be like, hey, can you hold on? I grabbed someone from the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right can you do this for me? By the way, yeah. down on the street, just a little side, I took a picture. Did you see this down on the street? Oh, that's the awesome. pair of flip flops? Yeah. Uh, yes, I took a picture. Just in the fucking street. <laughs> did you take a picture of them? I took a picture I of it. Too. I did too. I like, how does this happen? <laughs> I sh- I, oh, my God. I can't believe we were yeah. just talking about that before you Because it looks like the person vaporized. Yeah. Right. Me too. Because they were like, I know. Okay, I'll send the picture. I'm going to send the picture to Megan because now we have to share it. Have to share. Um, okay. Like what happened to them? I was know. The first thing Did the rapture we were take place? In. And I'm still here. Like Great that wouldn't mind. surprise me. But <laughs> Great mind wouldn't surprise me either. That's why we're here. I don't know why the ladies are right. still here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see why she's still here. Right. <laughs> but I just, I just left out like flip flops. Right. <laughs> Somebody was extracted from those shoes. Exactly, right. exactly. Exactly. But here's the other Where thing. Where was the Amber Alert? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, are we going to put the shoes on the milk carton? I don't right. know. Right. And, you know, the thing, the other thing that gets me And is, they're Nike. I know. They're, they're <laughs> you Nike. You actually flip-flops. know that? <laughs> yes. Because they're, they're not like, cheap. Shit, they're Nike. They're yes. Right. They're they actually Nike. got out of the car and took pictures. We just drove by and said, oh, flip-flops. <laughs> well, and, okay, I can say flip-flops. And the other thing that perplexes me about this is they're flip-flops in December, not July. Why Why aren't those a pair of Ugg boots sitting there? I mean, <laughs> right. I, I don't know. Because then I could have used them. Exactly. Yes. Right. Because but if they were, you know, they would have been shitty. Like they would have been used and trampled. Yeah, yeah. Because because it's currently forty degrees on December, whatever the hell it is. Right, which but is I get what she's saying. Yes. <laughs> right. Like why weren't they Louis Vuittons? It's, or, yes, you know. seasonally incorrect. I just <laughs> exactly. in addition to being so very confounding. <laughs> right. Um, you guys, I have to get, do a Florida story. We can't. I mean, Got we pretty up. much have to have one every. Okay, have you guys seen those commercials for the retirement home, the villages, and they sing the villages. I can't sing, but no, but you know, that but they. Very scary. It's very terrifying, and they have a jingle. They, I don't know what that tells you, but there you go. But this flashing incident happened at the villages, <laughs> so you know somebody could have had a heart attack. Um, but that said, um, the gentleman who is now in custody for this um, said that he dropped his pants because there was a bug in there. <laughs> that was the that was the al- not an alibi, but that was gonorrhea the- bug or <laughs> <laughs> the chlamydia. It was the chlamydia <laughs> bug. Yeah, and the only reason why actually he did post his two thousand dollar bail. The reason why they didn't buy the story, even though I'm sure that there could have been a bug uh, nearby that he could have blamed for the episode, uh, he does have an upskirt video charge on his record, so his credibility <laughs> was in fact shot. Yeah. Okay. How? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. No, I would just, I just, the, the joys of, I mean, it, for the folks that are offended by it, it is truly, you know, a nasty thing to happen. And then, they, you know, you can't, you know, you can't like survey people. Do you mind being flashed? Okay, I'll flash you. you yeah, know, right. The right. point <laughs> is to flash someone who is appalled by it. Right. Because right. Ross wouldn't be any fun. He, they wouldn't get their rush if they got Ross. Because Ross right. would be like, oh, wait, hold on. Boop. Right. Sure. Wait. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Posing. Is that your selfie Posing stick? <laughs> <laughs> or are you just happy? Oh. Exactly. And it is, you know, sort of a, a power thing because you're forcing someone to do something they don't want to do, which is, you know, right. look at you. Um, but I, just, I can't figure out, you know, like, why you, I mean, like, you know, if, if you're going to have an excuse, you could have at least had a bug with them. See, <laughs> I mean, you have to. It's pre- all in the why prep. Do, why don't you have pre- a meditation? I mean, it's Florida. The bugs. Did you say are... in the prep. It's all in the prep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I is mean... so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> Florida has bugs the size of my hand. You can I get know. Them. They, they totally they're, do. They're, they're a horrid down there. I right. just. Oh my god. I may hit the weather up here, but there are not palmetto bugs <laughs> in Minnesota. Right. And I just. I don't want something that looks like a cockroach that's about three inches long anywhere near me. No. 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 It's close. <laughs> 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 okay, you guys, I can't believe funny. We're almost out of time here. So we got it. We got one more story because I can't wait to see the look what Ross has to say about this one. Oklahoma. So I, I like to retitle the headlines as the not okay corral here because um, you brought up drones. Okay. Drums? Drones. drones. Oh, drones. drones. Right. Don't you think dildos on drones? I like, think that is genius. <laughs> right. It's like um, those machines that people can get, you know. Oh. 
love. Anyway. <laughs> so there's a prostitute and her John got arrested because an anti-prostitution vigilante guy had a drone with a video cam and caught him on tape in the act and called 911. What? And the video of you can tell stuff is going on is posted. Well, he should be in trouble for invading their privacy. Well, I know. Isn't there kind of a lot going there on there? There is kind of like a double-edged sword there. It's like, yeah, I ran this with I a mean, prostitute and everything. But yeah. they're not outside. Oh, they were in a car. Oh, they were in a Out, car. Yeah, in a public oh, garage. Yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah, a little dicey. But I think that's pretty funny, though. No, this is just a better way of... Like, what was he doing while he was taping it? You know he was watching. Oh, of course, course he was. He, was. he had to fly the drone. <laughs> right. Now right. it makes me scared. I'm right. going to be worrying about peeping toms or peeping drones now. Right. It's like, oh, I'm going to buy one. <laughs> was that, did it turn out that it was Marcus Bachman? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding because, you know, pretty much what's going to happen is that they're just going to have to have rifles so they can shoot, you know, look for drones, and then shoot them down. Because if it's on private property on the street, you're, you're allowed to shoot down the damn drone. Yeah, it's that's on your true. Space. That's true. This guy actually has a YouTube channel. We John need more TV. guns, really. Mm. John, John TV. John. Oh, there's plenty out there. Nobody My has God. to get anymore. And more shootings. <sighs> and uh, There have been 352 drone shooting this year, and there's only been 325 days in the year. <laughs> <laughs> Look for John TV on YouTube. Okay, guys, okay. we gotta wrap this up. Ross, please come back. Yes. Oh my, my god, god. I totally will. And I was fun. I need to have you guys on my show. Oh, we will. Um, so we'll see you again maybe in January when we're all um coming out of our skin and screaming and yelling and all that kind of stuff. I love winter. Do ya? I do. Long yeah. Johns. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I like less clothes, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't want to cover this I, all the time. I, I, I <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, that's fair. Drop the mic. <laughs> right. That's right. fair. Oh. I know. I do have the button over here, <laughs> Mr. Radke. Well, wow. that's why my idea for our, our carnival thing for Crypticon, I got to be the, the um, strong man because it was less clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wear spandex and everything. It was awesome. <laughs> what are those suits that you... Uh, morph suits. Morph suits. I, You're yes. a morph suit freak, aren't you? Uh, no. I got into those because we had some bondage gear that we didn't know how it goes on. So me and my husband, we worked together. So we had to put these morph suits on to try these bondage gear to see the positions and I was in some weird positions of course I couldn't put my face on that <laughs> so now the packaging we do have a little picture of me and my husband just to show you what this bondage gear does <laughs> and what's it made out of leather well the morph suit is um a thick lycra. uh light really yeah, light lycra. nylon and mm -hmm. yeah so you can see through it you can breathe and everything it's just right. you can't see me so you took one for the team I did you know the that lady really I bought cool. it at Party City and the lady she's such a nice lady um she she's at Party City in Bloomington all the time and she's like okay do I have to watch the news tonight what are you buying two more suits for it's like what are you gonna do <laughs> so every time I come in she's like oh what do I have to watch for now <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so funny I, this is one time when I was I was happy to be wrong because we had all of this older leather bondage gear that was packaged poorly we didn't know what to do with it and I was like just you know, just chuck it. It's been sitting on the shelf for like a decade. And they cleaned it up and they took pictures and we printed them out so people could see how the stuff was used and it sold. And I'm like, I am happy to wow. be wrong. Wow. Yes. I am, I am happy. People visual. Yeah. They do. I was perfectly happy to be wrong. I really yes. am. <laughs> I had the thing around my neck and it had two straps to go down to my husband's um, thighs so I couldn't pull up from a Low job. It right. was pretty intense. I want one for myself now. I'm like, oh, yeah. damn, we sold them all. No, we did. We, and then we, we put them out at an amazing price. Uh, when we were out Pride, we had a whole bunch of slings up. And people were like, is that really the price? Oh, I mean, they, Real leather. this woman skipped down the sidewalk after she bought one. I mean, there was skipping. And this does not look like a woman who generally skips. No. Okay. Yeah, she was very happy with her, her purchase. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And so there's not, yeah, there's very few of these pieces left in the stores. This was a couple of years ago, but it was such a hoot. Yeah. Well, fun. you do spread happiness as well as legs around here. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> God bless y'all. I love that. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, gosh, Ross, great, great thank having you. you. And you are thank such you, a you. blast of fun energy. And um, guys, we're, we're coming into the Christmas season. We've got a special event this weekend. We're going to have lots of great interviews from uh, this coming Sunday. So be watching for our our watching. Be sure and catch our holiday shows, um, the two holiday weeks uh, here at the end of the month. And great job, everybody. We'll be back next week. Bye. Have fun. Mahala. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>